So influence lines, uh, they represent, represent, gosh, I can't even spell. Great. Represent, really, they represent a way to determine the reaction, internal shear, or internal moment at a specific location on a member due to a moving concentrated unit force. And really, what it is, is a way, when you have a structure, you know, given a, a moving load, given a moving load, it, it's a way to figure out what's the maximum, max, you know, internal loading or reaction. So it's like find max internal loading or reaction at a specific point. So I want to know, you know, if I have a, and this is a, is this is a careless little example, but before we do a real example here, if I have a, a beam, a simply supported beam here, right here, I, I want, and I have some, like a car or some person walking across, so this is that unit force moving across right here, and I want to know at what location is this reaction right here, this reaction AY, at what location when this person is moving, is walking this way, and when, when, I, when he's walking or she is walking that way right here, where does he or she need to walk in order to make this reaction max? Okay, at what point will it be, at what location this load is at will, will make AY the, the worst case? And how does AY behave as, as person one is walking across, is moving across the bridge or structure, whatever it is, okay? And so there, there are a couple of ways to do that. Yeah, the first way is the brute force method. <laughs> That's not an official technique. It's just the way you do it, okay? And the brute force is really you apply the load at one point, apply, and then use statics and mechanics to calculate that, that place. So apply, apply or place the load, place the load, this unit load, at a bunch at different points. Okay, at different points, and then and then use statics or mechanics to calculate the you know what whatever internal load or reaction you're you're interested in. Calculate internal load or reaction. And there's another technique. It's it's graphical. It's a graphical technique. We won't talk about it right now, but we'll talk about it later. Okay. So there's a there's a graphical technique called Mueller Breslau. Okay, graphical technique, and it's, I think it's Mueller, did I spell technique right? Mueller Breslau, and I think there are two people, hopefully. Anyway, like, like Mercedes and Benz, right? <laughs> but anyway, all right. Although not, maybe, not. They, I don't wonder if they made as much money, who knows, right? Okay, so. Mueller Breslau right here, right? And, and his, and this really, this technique is, is kind of, is based on uh, virtual work and virtual, which we'll talk about maybe, uh, who knows, later, right? But it's essentially kind of like releasing, he's just saying that the deflected shape, deflected shape, when you release the location, and I'll explain this more later. Release the location of interest, okay, or the quantity of interest. Location. Let's, oh, whoa. The quantity, quantity of interest is the influence line, okay? Influence line. All right. And hopefully you can you can read all that, or you can read it. It's eligible. And let's let's just I'll just show you by example the brute force technique. So let's say I have this uh, cantilever beam. We'll go simple here. And I have a, this is five meters and five meters right here. I'll call this point here A, call this point at mid span. Whoa, that was not mid span. Let's see, edit. Undo. Undo right here. Bam, right here. We'll call that point B right here. Okay. And, and what we want to do is what's the, what's the, um, we want to find, let's say find, we want to find, is that, is that the example I did before? Who knows what I did before, right? Okay, but you want to find the, uh, we want to find the influence line, 
influence line for the reaction at A, okay, at point A. And we'll say the vertical reaction at A. So at A right here, there's a there's a, a vertical reaction, A Y, a horizontal, A X, and a moment, which we'll write like this, M A right here. Okay. And so what we want to do is we'll say we'll call this A Y. We want to find the influence line for A Y uh, due to a con moving concentrated load. Concentrated force. And it's a unit force, but really because like it, it's it'll be a, a force with a magnitude one, and so that if you if that value changes, you can just scale it. It's all linear. All the calculations are linear. All right. So what we're gonna do is just essentially move this load around. Okay. And so I have here, and I might I might draw this a couple times right here. But let's say my first position for this unit force right here is right over the the uh, the location, and I'll, and I'll define this point as zero, and I'll say X goes this way, all the way up to 10 meters, okay? And so what I wanna find is, what I'm gonna do is by statics, I'm gonna calculate my reaction at A, at A right here, this AY, for every time I move the unit force, okay? And, and it depends on, you know, you could, if you're, if you're doing this in a computer program, you could move it by 0.01 meters at a time, right? Or what level of you know level of discretion is it or discrete ah who knows whatever whatever increment that's a better word increment right that you want so here for us because we're gonna do this by hand we want to be reasonable here so I'm gonna say that we're gonna figure out this influence line and you're gonna see that it's really not that bad x it's so the position x of my concentrated load okay and then the and then the value of a y as a result of that location at the concentrated load and we're going to try at zero um let's do uh for us let's just do at mid span at five meters and at 10 meters okay and we're just going to go step by step here so one so it's essentially use brute force or statics use statics and and basically it's like uh it's the concept here would be place, place the load and calculate, calculate. All right, and this, based on these three locations, is like doing three problems at, at once. So the first one, place and calculate right here, or PC, no, I don't know. Oh, I wish I had a, a I wish it rhymed, right? Locate and calculate, chicka chicka. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so here, right here, so the first position, I would say x equals zero, and my drawing, if I did that, would look like here, I'm just going to draw stick figures, and that would mean I have one right at the support right here, that means, and this is quite simple, a y right here, my reaction a y right on top is equal to one, right, from some of the forces in the vertical equal to zero, and it tells me that I would have minus one plus a y equals zero, and that tells me a y equals one. Okay, so that's that's great. All right now I go to x equals five meters, and I would have here, let's see, bam, and so for this case, my structure, this is too easy, is here, here's one, I have a y over here, and again, I do some of the forces in the vertical right here, and that tells me a y equals one. And you know the story already. If I have x equals ten meters right here, I would have bam like this right here, and I would have again a y like this. And here is one, and some of the forces equal to zero, vertical plus. And this is a y equal to one again. And as you guessed it, this right here, very simple, is one, one, one. My influence line for this case, right here, from zero to 10 meters, my influence line, I would want to graph that, is just going to be like this, right here, like that. Here, I'm going to graph my influence line right here. So this will be my influence line for a y. Call that a y. And there's no units to it. And at at 
at x equals zero, this is my x axis. This would be my my x axis. This is at ten meters, and at zero, I have uh, one. That's one, and then at five meters, I have one, and at ten meters, I have one. And so my influence line, as you imagine, is a horizontal line. And that's too easy. That's too easy. Okay, so my influence line for this cantilever beam here, AY, is just one all the way across. Doesn't where, matter where it is. That's what it is. Okay. All right, so we'll do another one. Another one. 